So I'm not after trophy fish. All I'm down here to do is have some fun, waste some time, catch a few fish. And you know what, at the end of the day, if you wanted to get into plastics and learn, these sorts of systems where I'm, where I'm fishing right now, excuse me, I'm just tying that knot, good old locked blood. These systems that I'm fishing now are a great place to learn. And if you can try and practice catch and release in them, because they're only fed by a couple of pipes. If you take too much out of this system, it takes way too long to get them back to what they were. Working in and around this eddy, and that's it. Little tiny hops. And I've looped over. Very hard with the wind. So you, you do have to be patient. And throw it all different lengths. If you're not getting a hit in one particular area, just move a couple of steps, your right or left, and start peppering the same area again because you're always gonna change your angle of retrieve. And that's covering more area. And that's what you want. You really wanna cover all this area as best you can. This place is just unreal, like, there's uh, people playing with their dogs, there's literally continuous people walking their dogs here. It's a good environment, parks for the kids, and a great little fishing area. You know, and like I said before, the reason why I am targeting this area is there's fresh water coming through here, which should bring nutrients, bait fish, prawns, who knows. And the fish do get to know this. And that's why they hang around here. Very, very simple technique. Couple little jiggles of the rod tip. Let it sink the bottom, watch that belly in the line. And I'll give you indication of whether you've got a bite or not. As with this wind we've got, it is actually quite difficult. Yeah, a little floody. That's fucking great. A little fish fall into the well, sort of, 2.75 mil uh, gobblers Gobble shrimp. I was just chatting away, and another little lizard that uh, 2.75 shrimp pattern doing the damage again. They're really just hugging that edge of the current line there. I will pop this out and get him back. There we go. <laughs> On to a, another fish, probably a little lizard. Yep, little lizard.
Beautiful. So, I'm not after, oops, I'm not after big fish. All I'm doing is literally having fun. Now coming down to these little, and he absolutely wanted that. Coming down to these little landlocked lakes. What I'm actually gonna do here is he's hooked in and around the gills. I'm actually gonna bring it through his gills very lightly. Open up the mouth. And I'll bite the line. And then pull the line back out. And that won't have damaged him at all. And then back we go. Beautiful. Alright, another fish and I've just just uh, swapped over to the brand new two inch curl tail and we've got ourselves a beautiful little flounder. Look at that. A little two inch curl tail. Doing the damage. Absolutely beautiful. Let him go. Beautiful. That was a little hit. I was on the, the float down. There's a bit of bait starting to gather out here at the moment, which is good. There we go. Now a little rat floody. There we go. Alright. Now a little brand spanking new two inch grub from uh, Gobbler's Lures. Now that's in the uh, Pro Stinger. And there we go. Oop, absolute perler. That one go as well. He's just gripping on, there we go. And that cam camouflage, absolutely perfect, these flattered. Well, a uh, bit of a run down. So uh, that's the all new two inch curl tail of gobblers. I want that particular color is the, the Pro Stinger. Now these have not been released yet. Uh, I've got a little one eighth jig head on it. And you see nice and light, try and make it look natural as possible. Now I am, like I could go a lot more finesse, um, you know, a uh, lot, lot, lot lighter, lot, one, even down to 132 and uh, target the brim and that, but all I'm showing you guys is uh, how to have fun, basically get down and, and uh, learn. So that's the, the curl tail, and then you got your, your 2.75 inch shrimp pattern. Now uh, that, that one particular lure has caught seven fish today, not big, 
this goes to show you the, the hardiness of uh, these particular ones. We've got the exact same jig head in that one there. And uh, I'll show you a few of the, the colours that I've chosen. And uh, that's them there. And uh, the absolute pearlers. Um, this particular colour here. Um, I've caught a few tarp on down the Gold Coast now on them. Absolutely beautiful, but depending on the, the, the situation, so you your darker water, uh, you use your like your pro stinger, your crock bait sort of colours, and your your uh, lighter lighter waters you use your clearer colours. Gobblers do also jig heads as well, and uh, these are actually UV coated. Um, they're absolutely brilliant. I didn't want to quite go this light at the moment. It's just uh, basically showing you guys. Get in, that's the 1 16th, and you can go down, like I was saying before, the 132, which is extremely light but absolute quality. So, when you're chasing uh, your flathead and things like that over the flats with your three inch, these sorts of things come into their own. All right, guys, hope these are a few little tips and tricks will get you out there and catch more fish. Don't forget to give the old thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. Till next time, cheers and good luck.